Hi there people, it's Uberman UK. Now part of your your application to become a taxi driver, you have to do a, they have to do a check on you. Basically it is called if I get these words right, it is called the disclosure and barring service. But basically if you're not if you're not if you if you know cop like me, um it used to be called the CRB B check but now it's changed. It is called the disclosure and barring service. What basically is they're checking on your criminal record people. They they want to see if you get anything criminal on your record. They can check for cautions, um if you've been in prison, if you've got anything on your record whatsoever, that's what they'll be checking for. Now most jobs actually do this, but as you you are going to be a taxi driver it's an enhanced one so they're going to check on everything so if you've been in trouble with the police or anything to do with that service it'll be on that record and because at the end of the day you're picking up vulnerable people in the taxi because you'll be say one o'clock in the morning you're going to pick up young girls and take them home who've had a few they might fall asleep in your taxi you've got to be responsible from them so they want to know they can trust you with vulnerable people because you know what it's like Friday and Saturday night you, 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 you've had a pan full you, you get, go to Uber you order the taxi you're fine as soon as you get in a nice warm car what happens <laughs> you're gone aren't you you're fast asleep now you're trusting that driver with, with your health and your life basically you don't think they're going to rob you or do anything that all you expect them to do is take you home and go come on wake up that's what it's all about it's basically how much you could they have to trust you which i could understand it is a good way i know it's another test you've got to involve and and it's an extra i think it's about 70 pounds for this test to do now if you look on the website it does say it takes between four and six weeks to actually get this piece of paper you there's two copies one go to the council whoever you're working for and one will be going to your home address and you have to fill the form in to get that now the best advice i could give you is fill all the form out give as much detail as possible on that form he asks for you the passport number your, dri your driving number, driving license number, your home address. Now, if you've stayed in the home address for a few years and you live in the UK, you should get it back pretty quickly. But if you've you've gone abroad somewhere or you come in this country, it could take a lot longer because you've got to check all this. Because in the UK, there's things like, as I call it, the paedophile list. If you're on there, you've got no chance. Of Get, get even getting in a taxi so any so the best thing to do if you've never been in trouble in your life you've got nothing to worry about fill in the form send it and Bob's your uncle he should get it back in a few I believe I got mine back in under a week it come but I thought all the details are so I give everything as possible I've stayed at the same address for for about five five years plus so they could easily trace me because they'll need your passport number and your driving license number because all of them will give the information they need. Now the other tip I would give anyone who's doing this, as I call it CRB chip, but it's not that, it's changed its name, that's the old name I keep telling myself, but I still keep saying it, it is called the Disclosure and Barring Service. Now when, you, when they do send it you, it's only active for 14 days. After 14 days, that's it. It it does it's not valid. So what you have to do is you have to go on the line using using the government website and just type in disclosure and barring service update is called update. Go on that website and then you have to fill. It'll say the not the CRB system it again the Disclo disclosure and barring service certificate number you put in that in you register your details and then it's live then for one year so it's regularly updated your employee can check people can check because everything's on the system 
and it's live for one year and it automatically renew each year now there is a fee yes there's always we all have to pay something it's around about 18 pound it's one of the lowest fees we have to pay so we have to be thankful of that because there's, there's that many things we have to pay now just become a taxi driver it's unbelievable uh, right any questions you want asked about this just ask me please I'll gladly help anyone because it is a minefield just to get your taxi license and I wish everyone good luck who's applying for it I originally thought the driving tests were the hardest but it's not if you've been following my videos it's actually the the taxi test where they ask you destinations and you've got to write it down I failed it once I'm waiting for my second test and I hope that's the only thing what's stopping me now being an uber driver is that test I've got it in about in a few weeks so hopefully I should pass it I've been studying every day and that's the end of that's the end of the video right appreciate you listening people uberman signing